The sketch below shows the graphs of f of x and g of x. Okay, so we have a straight line and we have a parabola. C is any point, blah, 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 such that CD is parallel. Okay, so we know that this is parallel to the y-axis. K is a value that C lies above D. Okay, so K we don't know, but it may, K is such that C is always going to be above D. Okay, it says write down a simplified expression for the length of CD in terms of X and K. Okay, guys, so this is one of those typical questions that they love asking in grade 11, where they ask you something about um, the minimum or maximum length, vertical length, between a straight line and a parabola. And all that we do, you've maybe seen in some of my videos, all that we do is we just want to use the technique that we call Y top minus y bottom, and then you make that equal to um, the length of CD. So what do I mean? Well, the top is the straight line. Can you see the straight line is on the top? So you put its, um, you replace its y with 2x plus 3 minus, and now we just put the bottom graph, which is this one, but it must go in brackets because we are subtracting. like that and then you make that equal to CD. Now you just want to go simplify all of that so that's going to be 2x plus 3 plus 2x squared minus 14x minus k equals to CD and now we just put all like terms together so that'll give us 2x squared minus 12x plus 3 minus k and that is the expression, um, the simplified expression for the length of CD in terms of x and also in terms of K. They now tell us if the minimum length of CD is 5, calculate the value of K. So now they're giving us the minimum length. So they're saying that the, min the length is 5, calculate the value of K. All right, guys, so how would we normally, let's say we had this equation here. How would we normally go find the minimum or the maximum? How do you find the minimum or maximum of a quadratic equation? Well, this is where you would just say minus B over 2A. So the x value of the maximum or the minimum, we always find that using minus b over 2a. So let's go do that. So we could say um, minus minus 12, because b is minus 12, over 2 times a, which is 2. And if we had to go work this out, we end up with x equals to 3. Okay, so the x value is 3. And the value of cd is 5 when it's at the minimum. So what we can do now is we just go substitute that 3 into this equation. And then we know that when we do that, the length of CD is 5. And then we can just go solve for K. So this will be 18 minus 36 plus 3 minus K equals to 5. I'm going to take K over to the right-hand side. And if you guys are to solve this, it's pretty straightforward. We should end up with... K being negative 20.